one out for any of you people who want to uh, who are have a family and might want to think something special for Halloween. So we are going to do some pumpkin pie balls and others. And what I got here is a what is that? 30 ounce can of pumpkin pie mix. That's got all the seasoning and everything in it. in our bowl just like that easy peasy And I got half a tub, and this is an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. Should be about half a tub left in there. Yeah, about half a tub. We're going to fold that in to our pumpkin pie mix. Of course, I had to make a test batch just to see if I liked the texture of it, and it came out pretty good. So, we're going to make it for the video. A little bit not thawed out, but we'll get there. Out. All right. All right, let's, and I got one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. dent on that can so I don't know how well that's going to work when I get to it yeah looks like it got past it we're going to dump that in there like that then we're just going to mix that all up This unfrozen, or this fr still have partially frozen whipped cream is creating lumps, but we'll get over that. All right. some of that in my cup just because it's easier to work from with a cup and I made a mess as usual all right now we are not going to I've decided I'm not going to put a graham cracker crust on these mainly because I got so much pumpkin so we're going to just fill these molds all the way All right, let's get this spread out. I gotta wait for all my clocks to stop chiming. As somebody complained about the sound of clocks, I guess they don't don't like listening to time go by. Can't blame them. I just love the sound of clocks.
right, there's one more. Those little chunks of uh, whipped cream, we're just leaving those in there because that does add a nice little texture when we freeze dry that. There's two. We got plenty left over. Let me wipe this down. So I went on Amazon and got me these molds. Yeah, they fit all right. For the kiddos. They're ghosts and pumpkins. So I figured we'd just fill those up too. I only bought four of these molds, so I might do this in a couple batches. We'll see. So I'm going to get these out of the way. I'm going to pop these in the freezer until they're frozen solid, and then we'll take them out of the molds. There's two ghost molds. I'm going to get those in the freezer. Let me dig up another mold or something. <clears throat> I got all kinds of silicone molds, but we'll go back to the silver, the little balls, just to finish that off. All right, get these in the freezer, get everything frozen solid. Once they're frozen solid, I'll come back and we'll take them out of the molds. I'll see you then. Okay, these have been in the freezer overnight, so they should be nice and frozen solid. Let's do our little kiddo shapes first. Those are the easiest. Cute little pumpkin faces. I wonder how much of that we'll see after we dip them in chocolate. bit so that the pumpkin face is up. Alright. I'm going to get these back in the freezer because they are, don't forget we put Cool Whip in these so they're going to want to thaw out fairly quick, so I'll get those back in the freezer. All right, now our big eyeballs. This one's going to not make much of a mess on this one. Right, let my fingers thaw out. Yeah, these are thawing out so quick that we're losing a lot of the shape. So let me try and rush through this. That one we lost. 
That should be all right. All right, then get these in the freezer. So we got those all moved out of the molds. We probably want to do the bring those out of the freezer one tray at a time. Oh, there's one I missed. Is it too late? Yeah, see, see how they go soft so quickly? That's because of the whipped cream. So you want to get them out of the mold as quickly as possible. And the best thing to do, and not do like I did for the camera which is bring them out one tray at a time, pop them out, and you can't go wrong. You could even pop them out onto the tray that you used, put that tray back in the freezer, bring the next tray out, pop them out on the tray that you used, combine the two trays, you know, like that. You want to keep them in the freezer as long as possible. And you want to pre-freeze your freeze dryer. Don't put them in an unfrozen freeze dryer. You want, definitely want it pre-frozen. Go through the uh, pre-frozen setting. I don't know what that is on the modern ones. On mine, I tell it whether it's frozen or not. I say, yes, it's pre-frozen. So the freeze dryer kicks on, freezes, and it tells you when it's cold enough to put your product in. So you definitely want to follow those instructions, at least. I'll probably let mine cool down even more than what it, when it tells me it's ready. I'll probably leave it another half an hour to get that chamber really, really cold before I take these out of the freezer and put them into the uh, freeze dryer. So, next time you see these, they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer. I'll see you then. Okay, there we go. My pumpkin pie treats for the kiddos, or not, for the adult kiddos. They were in the freeze dryer for 40 hours, which is my standard time. So let's get them bagged up. We are going to coat those. I might get around to these later today, but if not, certainly within the next couple of days. Ghost and the pumpkins have kept their shape very well. There's those. I think I'll do the good balls separately. Just so it's a lot easier to when we dip them. Be doing one kind of at a time. So we're going to be doing these in very short order. So I'm not going to bother putting a no two absorber in there. They'll be fine just the way they are for today or tomorrow. Put a seal on that. And a seal on our shapes. Alright, we'll get these put aside. And next time you see these, we'll be dipping them in chocolate. I'll see you then. Okay, let's get to dipping. So what I have here since it's Halloween and we're doing ghosts and pumpkins is I went to Hobby Lobby and bought these orange colored candy wafers and melted those up. I bought two bags. I think these are 12 ounces. Yeah, 12 ounce bags. Hopefully that'll be enough because we got a lot of dipping to do. If not, I'll have to get some, might dip into my other chocolate. So, let's see. I want to do the uh, 
shapes first, because really that's what this video is about for the kiddos. Get a bowl. Those dumped in there. A lot of dipping to do. here. I'm going to throw one in and just start dipping. These are pretty, this candy wafers are pretty thick. I don't know how far along this is going to go. But we'll just try it. Again, we want to get these totally covered, no pinholes, because we don't want the center to go soggy from moisture in the air. Cute little shapes. You lose all the uh, detail once we dip them, but we're going to take care of that some other way. All right, so you got one row there. And I'm so impressed with uh, Wilton's gold and silver crystals that I couldn't find these in the store. So I got these Wilton's black crystals from uh, Amazon. We're just gonna put a little sprinkle of those on the orange, kind of get that Halloween-y type feel to it. And press on. So, I got a lot of dipping here to do. I'll come back later on. Alright, so I've got that many done. I still have that much left, but I still got that many of the small balls, and then I got the whole bag of large balls. I'm not sure that I have enough there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that solidify. We're going to use that in a minute. Well, later. I am going to do up some dark chocolate and we'll do uh, some of this dipped in dark chocolate. So I'll see you after I've got them dipped in dark chocolate since you've already seen that process. I'll get this cleaned up, change over the colors, get some dark chocolate melted and dip the big balls and the rest of these in that dark chocolate. Then I'll probably reheat this in the microwave, get it all melted and then drizzle orange over the dark chocolate. That sounds good. So that's the plan. So I'll see you once we get finished with the dark chocolate. Okay, I got it all dipped. I'm just going to let them completely solidify. They're well on their way. Then I'll take my knife and trim them all up. Make them nice and pretty. And I'll come back to you with a little bit of a display for them, kind of make them look pretty, and we'll do a taste test. And I'll give you a little hint. I wasn't sure if the dark chocolate would go with the uh, pumpkin pie, but it goes very well. But we'll, we'll, we'll do a taste test once these solidify and get cleaned up. So I'll see you then. All right, we got them all trimmed up and displayed up here beautifully. And I guess the real question is, how did they turn out? So let's take the uh, white chocolate, which is orange, but the vanilla flavored chocolate and see what that one could taste like. I think this was a ghost shape, but you can't really tell once the once it was dipped, but never mind. Oh yeah. Very nice. Texture is perfect. Get that beautiful pumpkin pie flavor. 
coated in vanilla, kind of like a whipped cream. Yeah, I like that. Looks like my dark chocolate kind of bloomed. That's because I was using older chocolate, reusing some of it. Won't affect the flavor at all, though. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, dark chocolate and pumpkin pie go together very nicely. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with that. So I made a variety of shapes, ghosts, pumpkins, big balls, and small balls. Mm. Drizzled that with the opposite color of what I was coating it in. I think that's a very Halloween-y looking product. That would grace any table at a get-together, I'm sure. And I'm really happy with the outcome. The texture on that pie filling came out perfect. It's not rock hard. Mm. Now, as you recall, when we mixed that up, we added whip, uh, Cool Whip. I, I, I call it whipped cream. We know, everybody knows it's not real whipped cream. Although you could probably use real whipped cream. I use Cool Whip. And that made it to where it would freeze solid, but it would thaw out very quickly. So we had to work in small batches from the freezer, popping them out of the molds. Because if you let it sit out here for five or ten minutes like you want to do all all four or five or six or seven or more of your molds uh, by the time you got to the end they were soft so you just want to do one mold at a time pop them out get them back in the freezer and you shouldn't have no problems now we could overcome the cool whip problem and the reason that is because cool whip's got oil in it and it never, Cool Whip never does really freeze solid, solid, like a brick in your freezer anyway. But we, and we could overcome that by instead of adding Cool Whip, we could have added some more evaporated milk to make it thinner, or we could have even added water to make it thinner. What you, but you don't want to put that pure pumpkin pie mix without cutting it because it becomes rock hard. You want to add something to that to make it more airy and more like that. To where you can bite into it and not break your teeth. And that just dissolves in your mouth. Beautiful texture. I find whole whip which goes with pumpkin pie anyway, is a great product for doing that. It would cut back on your long-term storage, but we are not making this for long-term storage. We're making this for a nice freeze-dried treat that you can give to your guests and kind of introduce them to uh, the freeze-dry process and so they can see what can be done with your freeze-dryer other than your main purpose of the freeze dryer, which is putting your food store away, but you can also do some fun things with it, too. So, I am super happy with these. I think you'll agree they came out very pretty.
you'll have to take my word on it. They taste gorgeous. But better than take my word for it, why don't you try it? Give it a try. And let me know what you think when you get done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the process of all these balls that I made. I think I'm going to give that a break. I wanted to give you some ideas for the holidays. I always like to do that every year. I like to do, you know, a few months before the holidays come on, I like to show you something that you could do for the holidays as gifts or a get together. And this year it was pie balls. So we're going to give this, a, we're going to pull off the chocolate for a while, although I do got plenty of ideas to do more. Well, I just wanted to get that out there before the holiday season and let you guys get, uh, you know, some ideas of what you might try for your family or friends. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.